What's up guys? Today we're going to take a look at the 5 best graphics cards for video editing on the market for this year. We're going to show you our 5 best picks and we'll talk about whether or not you should buy them. If you want more information and the most up-to-date pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Okay, so let's get started. Number 1. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070T The RTX 4070T emerges as the top choice for the best video editing GPU, offering a remarkable blend of performance, efficiency, and affordability. Positioned as a next-gen mid-range graphics card, it excels in rendering speeds and editing capabilities, rivaling more expensive counterparts in the creative work arena. Despite its technical classification as a 1440p graphics card, it proves itself competitive even at 4K resolution. Featuring 12GB of GDDR6X memory, the RTX 4070T may not boast the highest memory capacity on the market, but it effortlessly handles demanding tasks such as high-resolution video processing, intricate effects, and real-time playback and rendering. Its efficiency and power are evident in its compact size compared to its predecessor, the RTX 3070T, while maintaining a lower power consumption at 285 watts. For professional video editing applications like Adobe Premiere Pro, the RTX 4070T showcases its prowess by outperforming the RX 7900 XT by approximately 17.5%. Number 2. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 For users seeking a graphics card that excels in a variety of demanding tasks, from gaming to intensive video editing and 3D rendering, the GeForce RTX 4090 stands out as the ultimate choice. Boasting a massive 24 GB of RAM and over 16,000 CUDA cores, it sets a new standard for specifications. With a boost clock speed of 2,520 mhz and a memory bandwidth of 1,018 GB s it emerges as the best spec graphics card currently available, catering to the needs of pro video editors and gamers dealing with 8K visuals. While it might be considered overkill for most video editors, the RTX 4090 shines in scenarios involving heavy gaming, making it a worthwhile investment for enthusiasts in that realm. Despite its exceptional capabilities, the steep pricing, exceeding $1,500 and equivalent amounts in other currencies, positions the RTX 4090 as a high-end option for those with substantial budgets. Number 3. AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT The RX 6900 XT stands out as one of the best AMD graphics cards for video editing, offering a compelling blend of features and high-performance capabilities for both gaming and creative tasks. Despite its GDDR6 RAM, which may not match the performance of NVIDIA's GDDR6X memory, the RX 6900 XT excels in ray tracing acceleration, boasting over 5,000 stream processors and a maximum boost clock of 2,250 mhz. This makes it well equipped to deliver ultra high frame rates in AAA titles at resolutions of 1,440p and 4K. With 16 GB of RAM, the RX 6900 XT provides ample capacity for running software like Adobe Premiere Pro and Blender, allowing creators to handle substantial workloads without sacrificing performance. The card's efficient thermal management further contributes to its sustained performance over extended periods. While sharing similarities with its sibling, the RX 6800 XT, including architecture, clocks, RAM, and memory bandwidth, the RX 6900 XT distinguishes itself with a slightly higher recommended power supply, making it AMD's fastest GPU at the time of its launch. Number 4. NVIDIA Titan RTX The NVIDIA Titan RTX stands as a formidable graphics card designed to cater to the most demanding computing tasks, including data science, AI research, content creation, and other high-performance applications. With a substantial 24 GB of GDDR6 RAM and an augmented number of streaming multiprocessors compared to its predecessor, 
the Titan X Pascal. This graphics card exhibits a significant leap in video editing and gaming capabilities. Featuring 576 denser cores dedicated to AI and deep learning, alongside 72 RT cores for real-time ray tracing, the Titan RDX showcases exceptional performance metrics, achieving an impressive 11 giga rays per second and 130 teraflops of deep learning performance. This card is particularly well-suited for professionals engaged in compute-intensive tasks. While the Titan RTX commands a high price, positioning it as a premium option, its robust specifications and extensive feature set make it an invaluable asset for individuals working in fields that demand uncompromising performance. Number 5. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super the GTX 1660 Super stands out as an exceptional and budget-friendly graphics card, specifically designed for entry-level video editing and creative endeavors. Positioned as an ideal choice for those mindful of their budget, this graphics card offers a compelling balance between affordability and performance, making it accessible to a wide range of users. While it may not match the performance of its counterpart, the GTX 1660D the GTX 1660 Super excels in delivering reliable 1080p gaming performance. Its capabilities extend beyond gaming, providing ample support for ray tracing, even without dedicated RD cores. This makes it a suitable option for users working with and rendering full HD footage, contributing to its versatility. Moreover, the GTX 1660 Super is characterized by its efficiency as it doesn't demand a robust cooling system due to its modest power requirements. This feature enhances its appeal for users seeking a hassle-free and cost-effective graphics solution. However, it's essential to note that for users with aspirations for 4K and 8K content creation, higher-end RDX series cards may be more appropriate, albeit at a higher cost. Nonetheless, the GDX 1660 Super remains an excellent choice for beginners offering a budget-friendly option without compromising on performance. Thanks for watching and that's for all this video. If you liked this video and it helped in any way, please give this video a like and if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys.